muggy around Central Texas. Yeah. Feels like thunderstorms yeah, out there, yeah, uh, doesn't it? it? Right now, though, we still have just that uh, one storm up in northern Burnett County. Let's go to Viper Radar and take a look at that one. The storm that was in Lampasas County earlier completely dissipated over Bell County here not too long ago. And that storm in northeast Burnett County does not look like it is going to become severe anytime soon. In fact, if anything, it might have weakened just a little bit. Maybe some pea size hail in that. You're getting some pretty good downpours briefly there from east of Lake Victor over toward and east of the Watson area. And another little shower trying to develop there in southeast San Saba County, moving over toward Lomita. But that is just a shower, not even any lightning in that one. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch effective until 9 p.m. for you folks that live in Burnett, Williamson, and Milam County. The main threat tonight would be large hail, about an inch in diameter, maybe some wind gusts up close to 60 miles per hour. But beginning to have my doubts whether we're going to see much, at least this evening. Toward morning, overnight, we might see some more storms. Our severe risk area takes us through 7 o'clock in the morning and keeps our metro counties and hill country in the slight risk category. Marginal risk, meaning, meaning mainly some strong to near severe thunderstorms possible in our eastern counties. This is our severe weather risk area for tomorrow through early Saturday morning. All of our viewing area in that slight risk category. We've had a lot of these here uh, recently. I think we're going to have another risk of severe thunderstorms by Monday next week. That may be the big day of them all. 86 degrees in Lano right now. It's 77, though, in Burnett. You're feeling some of that cooler air. Low 80s here in the metro area and in our eastern counties. Low to mid 80s at this hour. Here is live weather from Marble Falls. I've got the camera pointed back so you can see to the northeast. And we can see those thunderstorms in northeast Burnett County. But there, no, there's no rain falling in Marble Falls. Our camera view, by the way, uh, from the River City Grill there. Highland Furniture, also one of our sponsors. 82 degrees, mostly cloudy in Austin. And also 82 out at the airport with low 70 degree dew points. That's that soupy, muggy air you're feeling out there today. Winds are 5 to 7. The sun will set at 8.03 tonight. The mold is still high. The oak has stayed low though the last couple days. Back down into the medium category anyway. Pecan and grass low. Around Texas, 80 from here south. Then some 70s back to the northwest. You can see that southwesterly flow. No real organized uh, disturbance triggering this activity today. Now there is one approaching Mexico or from Mexico approaching the Rio Grande. We think overnight we might see a little more action in association with this upper level low that will move out and bring us a chance of storms through tomorrow, tomorrow night, even early Saturday morning. The computer model wants to bring in some activity in the middle of the night, kind of washes it out by sunrise in the morning, brings some more into the hill country tomorrow afternoon, but doesn't really develop it much in the Austin metro tomorrow evening. We'll have to watch that. And then tries to bring one more round in Saturday morning. Not so sure about that, but if it does rain early Saturday morning, it won't rain long. The rest of the day will be beautiful. And hopefully this is right, showing that we see an inch of rain or more in uh, various locations around the area in the next 36 hours. Tonight, near 70. Tomorrow, high temperatures close to the mid-80s. Shower possible tonight, not real likely. Tomorrow, a better chance with a high of 84. A 60% chance of thunderstorms, some potentially severe tomorrow or tomorrow evening. A 20% chance of rain Saturday morning. And then again, late Sunday. I think most of the weekend is going to be fine. Just a little hot. We're up near 90. And I think we'll probably see another severe weather risk on Monday.